Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and this reading is going to be for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you from October 18th till October 25th. So let's see what are the messages that pop out for you, Scorpio. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. In the extended, we're going to clarify further for your person. How are they feeling? What is their next move towards you? Where is this relationship going? As well as advice for you and oracle card messages, self-love notes. What are the coming up energies for you? So do check it out. It is going to be linked below for you. So we have the hangman in the reverse with the page of swords in the reverse. Ooh, okay. So getting unstuck, definitely getting unstuck. I feel like you are figuring things out for yourself, um, Scorpio. That is absolutely great. But again, you know, one thing that I get here is that <laughs> the person that you're dealing with, they're looking forward to communicate with you. I feel like your main focus is on, on, on your stability, on your work, on um, business, on making yourself more stable whether it be your emotional stability or your um, financial stability, right? I feel like you're definitely getting unstuck. You are releasing burdens, okay? You're releasing those things that no longer serve you. I don't see you holding back. I actually see you being very, uh, you know, you're looking at things with a very different perspective here, Scorpio. Um... It's like getting unstuck, finding a way for yourself. And yeah, I feel like the person that you're dealing with wants to connect with you. However, I feel like this is, <laughs> I'm getting major stalker vibes here, Knight of Wands. They definitely want to come forward and communicate with you. They want to talk. I feel like this person's definitely keeping tabs on you in some way, shape or form. I don't know, maybe definitely on social media if you have, or if not, I don't know. They're, they're wondering what you're up to. They're, it does look like they're keeping an eye on you, um, Scorpio. And I feel like they would like to come forward and communicate with you. This does look like this person thinks that you're very self-focused. You're not giving into the situation the way you used to. So they are kind of like wondering about that. But also then the five of pentacles. You're silent. You're silent. I feel like you are not talking to this person. Uh, Y'all are not on talking terms. Uh, of course, there's no communication here. But I feel like at some point, this situation did bother you. Uh, maybe this person ghosted you. I feel like they keep coming towards you and then they keep running away from you. So this is a constant cycle here. Um, that's why you don't trust them enough. Okay, that's why right now you feel like it's better for you to focus on yourself um, and your own stability instead of um, trying to make things right here, okay? Um, I do feel like you felt neglected by this person in the past. And you're just taking a step back. I feel like you're healing yourself, healing your heart. Definitely focus on yourself. Um, and I feel like you've made that decision where, you know, if something is keeping me stuck, I'm no longer stay in that position. I'm going to make my way, you know, through this or I'm gonna you know get back on track so I do see that kind of an energy here I feel like you definitely are taking a step away from this right now queen of wands oh this person wants you nine of pentacles so it does look like at times uh Scorpio you feel like this person isn't trustworthy because of the way they behave uh, sometimes they literally love bomb you and the other times they disappear on you. So the forward movement or I feel like there's no consistency here with this person. Okay. And even if they show you love and affection, that is not consistent or that doesn't seem to be stable enough for you to continue doing this at least. So I do feel like this person finds you very attractive. Um, they do see that you're in your power. You're working on yourself. You know, with that King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Um, yeah, this person does see that you're doing your own thing. You're very focused on yourself. They do see that. They do realize that. 
you know, the way you were involved in the situation with them, that's just not there. So I feel like they're feeling your absence. They're definitely feeling that you're not very giving. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords. So I feel like in the past you've been disappointed. Uh, this person definitely has neglected you. I see some major disappointments here, like emotionally feeling like this person isn't giving at all, you know? Then what am I doing? Why am I the only one who is investing in this, you know, my time and energy, love, affection whatsoever, and I'm not getting enough in return, you know? I do feel like, uh, why do I get that at some point you were, uh, you were stuck on the energy, you know, wondering why is this person distancing for no reason but i feel like now you're letting that go and scorpio the more you're letting it go the more this person's like where is scorpio where is scorpio so they're kind of like feeling you pulling away from them energetically okay um and with that page of souls in the reverse that is of course somebody who stalks <laughs> who keeps an eye on you I feel like sometimes you also think that this person cannot be trusted. Some of you are looking forward to new love. Okay, you could be opening yourself up to new love or there could be a new person that you're talking to with the Ace of Cups because Aces do represent new beginnings. However, this could just be a love offer that comes your way as well. We will clarify that Ace of Cups in a bit. Let's see. Tell me more about the person. Scorpio is dealing with the signs that I hear are Libra, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. So it does look like your person wants to reconcile with you, or you will definitely hear from them because I feel like, <laughs> um. I don't know i feel like scorpio you might find this person to be a little bit like somebody who can you know i feel like they can come back and tell you anything and you'll believe it because they make it sound so genuine i don't know they always have an excuse or something and they're so manipulative okay five of swords the page of swords in the reverse is somebody who's not upfront and not honest at all. And maybe that was the reason why you backed off in the first place was because this person was not being upfront and honest with you, you know? But with the Justice card, I do see them coming back around. Could be a Libra. Um, and the Magician, okay? That is definitely somebody coming back around for sure uh, because they're feeling like now you are giving up on them. Okay, but you're giving up because you haven't got time to play games. Okay, that's the reason why you're giving up. The Nine of Swords. Now that energy and energy. <laughs> now that energy is on them. Okay, that kind of an energy where I feel like they're definitely feeling your absence. Okay, they're definitely feeling your absence. They would like to reconnect with you with the Ace of Cups. I said I will clarify. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I do feel like uh, Scorpio, this to me looks like you were hoping for a new beginning here in love. And for the longest time, you were the one who was putting a lot of, uh, a lot of work and effort into this relationship. But because they were just playing games or not appreciating you, you kind of got sick and tired. It looks like there is love coming in for you. Okay, but I see you resisting it or I, I, I see you uh, standing uh, your ground and being like, you know, if it looks like some of you are losing hope and love, that's why you're focused a lot on your money. But again, you know, this is like love coming in towards you and you're you're being like, you know, if this is going to be like the one in the past, I don't want it. I don't want to be playing games. And whoever this person is who's coming towards you, I feel like you're sick and tired. It looks like this is a pattern that you're well aware of, okay? And you're tired of this. You're tired of this. Even if they come back and not like, even if they're sweet, doesn't matter. Now they have to act right. And unless they do, you're not going to be giving into it, at least 
you know, what I see here. I definitely feel like there's always that resistance here. Now, in the past, there that resistance was coming from this person. But now it's more so coming from you because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to go back to the place where you were feeling like things are stuck. What do I do? You know, now that you have uh, picked up yourself and you're finding your way out of this, you don't want to be stuck again. Tell me more about the hangman in the reverse. Let's see. Or Scorpio. The two of wands. See? So I do feel like some of you, um, maybe some of you were waiting for this person to act right. But, you know, that was keeping the situation pretty stuck. You have spent your time waiting and hoping that they were going to change, but they were not. So I feel like you kind of... A lot of you gave yourself that closure that maybe I need to move on from this, you know. This isn't serving me anymore. And I definitely see you planning something for the future or you could be waiting on something. It's like you seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So some of you might be coming from a place where you felt really down. Uh, and, you know, whether it be in terms of a friendship or whatever situation that pulled you down. I do feel like now you're finally picking up yourself and you know finding a way out of that energy where you're constantly feeling low and there are people around you who are noticing that you're shining scorpio um there are people around you who are noticing uh your journey and your growth and i feel like the person that you're dealing with is secretly admiring that and they they admire you anyway okay but the thing is that they come with their own game playing energy and they just like, I don't know, they're, they're not very consistent with the way they show you. Oof, I just said that and we have the devil and the two of pentacles. Again, you know, maybe this person. Okay, so you definitely were the one who was hoping for clarity. Ooh, you know what, Scorpio? I see love coming in for you. Look at that ace of, you've got all aces in this reading. I'm going to talk about it in a bit. But with this person, with the two of pentacles and the devil, it does look like uh, Scorpio. They were not really taking it forward with you. Okay, they were keeping you stuck in a sense that they were telling you enough that yes, maybe this has a future, but not really fully giving in. Okay, so this person, you would find them to be constantly torn between two choices. And the more you stayed there, the more stuck you felt yourself. Okay. And now you're very determined to come out of that energy, okay? Again, you know, look at this. Look at this, Scorpio. So you're getting the Ace of Cups, right? Then you're getting Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So you've got all Aces um, and as well as the Two of Cups here. So first of all, I see a new beginning in love for you, Scorpio. I do see somebody new coming in your life. Uh, you might find this person to be kind of like an all-rounder. I don't know. You would know if you have somebody or if you, of course, if you date people or if you are open to that. How can it happen if you're not open, you know, to, you know, if you're not meeting people? I don't think that's going to happen. But it does look like in terms of like when it comes to your life, you've got it all. You've got it all coming in towards you. That's why I'm telling you that energetically, it looks like for the longest time you were feeling stuck. You know, even money wise, you might be feeling like your money isn't moving forward the way you want it to or you aren't making as much. You aren't, you know, growing as much, whatever the case might be. You were feeling very stuck in your energy. But now I do see forward movement in terms of love. First of all, OK, I do see new love coming in for you. Then I see good opportunities in money with the Ace of Pentacles. And if you combine that with the Ace of Cups, that's like a stable love offer as well. So you have money coming in, you have love coming in and, you know, this is passion, this is clarity, this is communication. So again, Scorpio, there is a lot of that new energy coming up for you and not to forget we are, you know, moving towards a uh, Scorpio season. Um, so... I do feel like you're going to be very much in your own power. You're going to be attracting all of this, okay? And I do feel like there is a reunion with somebody. However, more so than that, I feel like there are a lot of people who are finding you attractive and you might be coming across people who 
uh, admire you because the pause person is definitely admiring you but there are other people as well in the meantime you might even uh, you know you might be deciding to focus on new project or you know something new a new idea that leads you towards prosperity when it comes to your money you know expanding growing things like that so i do feel like a lot of this new energy is coming your way we have got all aces here for you so this is incredible this is incredible uh there is clarity so if there was a cer certain situation that wasn't clear for you okay you felt like you had to figure out things what the hell okay they're cooking something um what is it i should be knowing but i don't um so scorpio there is a lot of that new energy coming up for you man and i love it i love it okay i do feel i do feel like it's coming after a long period of waiting and things like that so lovely energies be prepared though <laughs> because sometimes all of it comes at once so now let's see what the romance angel oracles are saying for you do check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended in the extended we're going to see i'm actually going to clarify all the all of this uh new energy for you in the extended um i'm also going to clarify the past person and if there's somebody new coming your way um yeah i'm gonna clarify this new energy especially for you and we will see where is this headed towards what are the love messages for you what is the advice for you oracle messages love notes as well as self-love messages for you what are the coming up energies you know in your life in general so do check it out it is going to be linked in the description box for you okay so let's see we have worth waiting for divine timing is that love in at work in your love life i said it wrong um <clears throat> well i love it i love it i read it completely wrong <laughs> divine timing is at work in your love life so you might not be seeing forward movement right off the bat but you will in the future i do feel like when this card comes and now that it's coming with a lot of aces i feel like it's gonna be a new person and it might be somebody that you instantly connect with and you find this person to be more charming more caring towards you than the past one like past one was charming right sure maybe caring at times but not the others right so oh my god <laughs> give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so i do feel like the past person wants wants you to give them another chance scorpio um there's a new person as well as the past person so whoever this person is some of you are trying to some of you may want the past person so it totally depends it might not be a new one it's completely you know just the old energy for some of you so it just depends individually not the same for everybody however for the most of you i do see new 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 energies coming up um if you're open to it of course and because we have worth waiting for that is again you know telling you that there's something better coming for you in the future the past person might even apologize you know with that give your relationship a chance we have make the effort so you're going to be receiving a lot of text messages calls uh it does look like people are going to be making that effort towards you <laughs> wow let's get you one more then we have true love wow such beautiful cards i'm actually you know i'm going to keep going oh chemistry so there is chemistry there's true love there's attraction at the bottom of the deck what else do you need i mean i haven't had a love reading like this in a while where there's so much like <laughs> and a lot of new energy past persons coming back then there's that new one who wants to you know offer you love as well so scorpio we have chemistry for you true love for you you name it we have it right i do feel like there's a lot of that new energy coming up for you um you might be meeting somebody that you feel very connected to 
um again you know with that energy it does look like um i don't know why it looks like you might be hesitating to open up to that energy you know We have flirt and we have, oh, we have heart to heart conversation. Wow, like I'm amazed. Um, so I do feel like this is that new energy coming up towards you with the flirt and heart to heart conversation. And then, you know, there's somebody else who wants a new chance with you. So it looks like you're going to be the center of attention, Scorpio, for some time and it's gonna be good <laughs> anyway that's about it those were the messages that popped out for you scorpio give this video a like and subscribe to my channel check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended um in the extended we're going to clarify more for your person the outcome advice love notes um as well as what are the future energies coming up for you so yeah that's about it take care and bye, -bye.